in this lecture i shall discuss about different types of nanomaterials depending on the architecture and the dimension of the structural elements nanostructure materials are classified into four categories these are three dimensional nanostructures mainly some hierarchical nanostructures nano composites etc two dimensional nanostructures including nano sheets nano ribbons thin films one dimensional nanostructures these are mostly nano rods nano wires and nano pencils and the zero dimensional nanomaterials which are basically ultra fine nanoparticles and quantum dot so let us discuss one by one so first start with three dimensional nanostructures in three dimensional nanostructures none of the three dimension follow uh, lies in the nano scale however still they exhibit the proper nano scale properties the electron in these materials have 3 degree of freedom and they do not show any quantum confinement effect the very common example of these three dimensional nanomaterials sometimes called bulk materials are nano composites some nano crystalline materials nano porous materials some like uh, metal organic framework zeolites in organic inorganic hybrid composite materials nano combs nano cages etc so as no confinement effect is observed the energy of electrons can be expressed as this where this kx ky kz are the um, propagation vector uh, propagation vector which is directly connected to the energy uh, by, that can be obtained uh, after uh, solving uh, the schrodinger equation for these structures now let us discuss about two dimensional nanostructures two two dimensional nanostructures are mainly extended in two dimension and one of its dimension is in nano scale so along the third dimension which is in nano scale the motion of the electron is quantized suppose consider an example of a two dimensional nano sheets in xy plane so that the thickness of the film is very small along z direction so the electron is confined in xy plane so the degree of freedom is 2 and its energy can be expressed as e n equal to h cross square over 2 m x square plus k y square plus n square pi square by l square so this is the quantization along the z direction nano sheets nano ribbons are good example of two dimensional nanoparticles now let us discuss about one dimensional nanoparticles one dimensional nanoparticles at the name suggests the structures are like uh, nano rods nano tubes etc so that the material is extended along one direction while its structure it restricted from other two dimension so the energy of the electron is also quantized in two dimension in from two other directions also and the degree of freedom of the electrons in this nano structure is 1 so the energy expression is uh, en equal to h cross square over 2m kx square which is continuous and along y and z part the energy is uh, quantized now we shall discuss about zero dimensional nano structures mostly ultra fine nanoparticles and quantum dots in this case some tiny nanoparticles having size only few nanometers 5 10 15 nanometers like that and in these nanostructures the electrons are confined within a very small region practically they are uh, uh, they are uh, confined within a dot like structures so the energy is confined from all three directions which can be expressed as this one so this figure shows uh, a uh, acm image uh, no, no no this is tm image of quantum dots taken from uh, this references and this is the enlarged view as you see the diameter of this quantum dots is only 5 nanometer so the, we can easily understand the level of quantization of energy in these nanostructures also 
Besides, there are several other parts, uh, other types of nanostructure that most, mostly includes uh, core cell nanoparticles, nanocells, etc., etc., and uh, obviously nanocomposite is another issue. So these are the artificial nanostructure that we have described. But there are some nanostructures already exist in matter in uh, nature. This figure shows the ACM image of pollen grains of flowers. You see varieties of structures are uh, shown over here varieties of my, uh, microstructures are uh, seen whose dimension may be uh, around uh, uh, 3 to uh, 4, 500 uh, nanometers sometimes 3 microns range also. Another example of natural nanostructure is the red blood corpuscles in our body. You can uh, see the RVC cells over there is diameter about only a uh, few 500 microns or less. Uh, mostly actually uh, they are around uh, 700 microns like that. So these are very common example of natural nanostructures.